Welcome to AccuWeb Hosting Video Tutorial. Today, we will guide you on how to configure an IMAP email account in Thunderbird with SSL. Before we begin, take a look at AccuWebHosting.com to review various hosting services offered by us. You can contact us through chat, phone, or send us an email at sales at AccuWebHosting.com. Let's begin the tutorial. First, we will see the prerequisites of it. First one is you should have incoming and outgoing mail server information. Second one you should have credentials of the email accounts which you want to configure as an IMAP. Third one is SSL certificate should be installed on the mail server that is mail.domainname.com. For your information. Here, we have used Thunderbird's latest version 78.04 to show you how to configure an IMAP email account on it. You can download the Thunderbird email client application from the below URL. In order to configure a new IMAP email account, go to the Set up another account section and click on the email option. Once you click on it, one window will be opened with the name set up your existing email address. Here, you have to enter the credential of your email account which you want to configure in the Thunderbird. In the Your Name field, enter the full name of the person who uses the email account so you can easily identify it. Here, we have used Nick R as an example. In the Email Address field, enter the email account which you want to configure it. Here, we have used nick at demovpstest.com as an example. In the Password field, enter the password of the email account which you have used in the Email Address field. Tick the box. Remember password. If you don't want to enter the password manually each time while accessing the email account. Here, we have ticked this option because we don't want to enter the password manually each time. After then click on the continue button. By clicking on the continue button. The Thunderbird will automatically attempt to configure your mail settings based on the domain portion of your email address. It will show the result on the screen. It is not necessary that every time the Thunderbird fetch correct data for your mail settings. If you think that the Thunderbird has fetched the correct mail settings and it matches with the settings provided by your hosting service provider then you can click on the Done button to configure it successfully. If you think, it is different with the settings provided by your mail service provider then you can adjust it by clicking on the Configure Manually button. Once you click on it, it will display incoming and outgoing sections of the mail settings. First, we will see the incoming section. In the Protocol field, you need to select an IMAP option from the drop-down list. In the server field, enter your incoming email service provider's server name. Usually, it is mail.yourdomainname.com. Here, we have entered mail.demovpstest.com as an example. In the port field, you need to select 993 from the drop down list. In the SSL field, you need to select SSL or TLS because we are going to configure the email account with SSL. In the Authentication field, select the Normal Password option from the drop-down list. In the Username field, 
you need to enter the full email ad address which you are going to configure. Here, we have entered nick at demovpstest.com. Now, we see the outgoing section in the server field. Enter your outgoing email service provider's server name. Generally, it is the same which you have entered in the incoming section. Here, we have entered mail.demovpstest.com. In the port field, you need to select 465 from the drop down list. In the SSL field, you need to select SSL or TLS because we are going to configure the email account with SSL. In the authentication field, select the normal password option from the drop down list. In the username field, you need to enter the full email address which you are going to configure. Here, we have entered nick at demovpstest.com. After then you need to click on the retest to ensure that your settings are correct. If it is correct then you will get a message on the screen that the following settings were found by probing the given server. After then click on the done button to configure the email account in the Thunderbird. It may take a few seconds to complete it. Once it is completed, the email account will be added on the left side of the screen. After then click on the account settings option located on the upper right side of the screen. Once you click on it, one new tab will be opened with the name account settings. Select the email account which you have added recently. After then click on the server settings option just below the email account. By clicking on it, you will get the server settings window. Here, the server settings section is very important so you need to check or uncheck the option very careful. This option allows the Thunderbird to check for new messages when you start the system. This option allows you to enter the interval when you want to check for a new message. This option allows you to get a notification on the desktop when a new email arrives. From here, you can choose what action should take the Thunderbird when you delete a message. Move it to the folder which you have selected. Just mark it as deleted. Or remove it immediately. That's all. Let's quickly sum up the context of this video. We saw how to configure an IMAP email account in Thunderbird with SSL. Hope this video will be helpful for you. If you like our technical videos, please press the subscribe button and bell icon to receive instant notification of our new videos. Each like is important to us so do not forget to symbol us. To download a PDF file of this video, Please subscribe to our Telegram channel, AccuWeb Hosting, where you will have the access of PDF files of all our videos. Thank you for watching.